It's 4.20ish in the morning, and we're gonna go hunt mountain lions. But not actually hunt them, and actually just chase them. But, hopefully we see one. Mountain lion, definitely. I can feel it. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. Come here, bud. Bumper. Hey, bumper. Goldie, come here. Yes. Success. And that's, and that's, you see what I mean when they don't disturb the snow? If that was a dog, it would have drug its foot and kicked up snow, like look in that track over there. Going right. down, you see how it's kicked up right. snow and yeah. disturbed it? A, a lion or a cat does not do that. Is that a fresh one then? Yeah. From last night. See if the dogs are like, let's see if he's fresh done. or if it's interested. Zula, yeah, Zula, these are all puppies. Oh, I like this. This is lion hunting, I guess. Definitely one of the most unique things I've ever done. They're looking for a track that they found yesterday. And hopefully we'll get some dogs on it and they'll pick it up and we'll find a lion. It's a lot easier when there's like three inches of fresh snow across all the roads. Yeah. That's what he was saying. Nick, what should we do in this situation? Well, Colby just beeline it up the hill. But the track does look pretty old, you know, if I were to assess the situation. How long have you been hunting lions? About six hours now, so pretty good.
release the hounds. What do you think, Dan? This is wild. So we've came across probably like six or seven lion tracks. And there was one that was really fresh, or a couple, but they right, one of their buddies has wolf traps, so they didn't want to get the dogs in. So we came back to this one and put the dogs on it again to see if they'd take it, whatever that means. <laughs> and they're ways up there barking their heads off, which is called opening up. Also don't know why. Also don't know if it's good or bad, but it sounds promising.